Thanks for watching. And here's a cool math problem with a very surprising answer. Consider the following. Suppose you have an ellipse with radii 3 and some unknown b. And suppose that ellipse rolls on the curve 4 sine of x over 3 in such a way that one revolution of the ellipse, so going from starting point to ending point, is the same thing as one period of the curve. And the question is, what is the value of b? And in order to solve this problem, all we need to do is calculate that purple length in two different ways. Because on the one hand, if you consider this point x comma y, well, because it's an ellipse, you can parametrize x and y simply by x is 3 cosine t and y is b sine of t. And then what you can use is the calc 3 definition of arc length, which is as follows. So the length here is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of square root of x prime squared, so minus 3 sine of t squared, plus y prime squared, so b cosine t squared dt which you can simplify to integral from 0 to 2 pi square root of 9 sine squared of t plus b squared cosine squared of t. Now keep that in mind, we will use this very soon. But now let's calculate the arc length in a different way because we do have that x comma y is on the graph of 4 sine of x over 3, so now we can just use the calc 1 way of calculating arc length, which is simply that the length is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 period of the curve, so 3 times 2 pi, 6 pi, square root, of 1 plus f prime squared. So f prime is 4 cosine of x over 3 times 1 third, so 4 thirds cosine of x over 3 squared dx. And this then becomes integral from 0 to 6 pi square root of 1 plus 16 over 9 cosine squared x over 3 dx. But, well, this looks kind of ugly with the 6 pi and this x over 3. So let's just do a u substitution. t equals x over 3. Then the 6 pi becomes 6 pi over 3, 2 pi. And then uh, dx becomes 3 dt, and therefore we get the following. So the length is the integral from 0 to 2 pi square root of 1 plus 16 over 9 cosine squared t, and then dx is 3 dt. And well, this 3 then comes inside of the square root, but 3 becomes 3 squared, which is 9. And so in the end, we get square root from 0 to 2 pi, square root of 9 plus 16 cosine squared of t, dt. But now, compare the length that we got here with the one we got using parametric equations. Well, those look kind of similar. We have a cosine squared, we have a cosine squared, we have 0 to 2 pi. The only question is, how do we make a sine squared here appear? And for this, we just use cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So in fact, 9 gives you 9 
cosine squared, if you want 9 sine squared of t, plus 9 cosine squared of t, plus 16 cosine squared of t. 9 of a yeah. <laughs> so indeed, the arc length then just becomes integral from 0 to 2 pi square root of 9 sine squared of t plus 25 cosine squared of t dt. So here we now get two different ways of calculating the arc length. On the one hand, blah, so square root of 9 sine squared plus b squared cosine squared. On the other hand, 9 sine squared plus 25 cosine squared. And well, all we need to do is compare those coefficients and we get that b squared equals 25 and indeed b equals 5. If you're not satisfied, here's a more rigorous argument. Notice this function of b is increasing in b. So the bigger b becomes, the higher this integral. Okay. And because it's increasing, it is 1 to 1. So f of b squared equals f of 25. So b squared equals 25. So b is 5. And well, you may wonder, how are those uh, 3 from sine of x over 3, the 4 for 4 sine of x over 3, and b related? Well, indeed, if you do 3 squared plus 4 squared, equals 5 squared. So indeed, there's a Pythagorean triplet here going on. And in fact, this is true in general, because if more generally you have an ellipse with radii a and b that rolls around the curve cx over a, then in fact, we have that b squared equals a squared plus c squared using the exact same argument. And my question really for you is, can someone think of a more geometric way of showing this? Here we have a Pythagorean triplet, but why? I was thinking about this, I couldn't come up with a good answer, but maybe one of you can. So make sure to put your answer in the comments. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.